Adding draft angles. When you eject parts from a mold, you risk leaving drag marks on the part surface. Adding draft angles to your part makes it easier to remove. We recommend adding a minimum draft angle of 2 degrees to all surfaces. For textured surfaces, an additional 0.4 degree angle for every 0.1 mm of texture depth is optimal. Avoiding undercuts. Having an undercut in your part design makes it nearly impossible to eject from the mold. We recommend these four ways of avoiding undercuts to make sure it's easy to remove the part after molding is completed. Using shutoffs, moving the parting line, bump offs, and sliding side actions and cores. Attach bosses, ribs, or sidewalls. Bosses are cylindrical projections with holes designed for screws, threaded inserts, or other types of fastening and assembly hardware. When bosses are used for fastening, the outer diameter of the boss should be two times the nominal diameter of the screw or insert. Its inner diameter should be equal to the diameter of the core of the screw. Using a constant wall thickness or adding smooth transitions. Parts with non-uniform walls may melt as the material cools down after molding. If sections of different thicknesses are required, make the transition as smooth as possible using a chamfer or fillet with a length that is three times the difference in thickness. This way, the material will fill the cavity evenly. Hollowing out thick sections and adding ribs. Thick sections can lead to your part having various defects, including warping and shrinkage. It's essential to limit the maximum thickness of any section of your design to the recommended values by making them hollow. To improve the strength of hollow sections, use ribs to design structures of equal strength and stiffness by reducing wall thickness. Rounding all edges. The uniform wall thickness limitation also applies to edges and corners. The transition must be as smooth as possible to ensure material flows into the mold smoothly. For interior edges, use a radius of at least 0.5 times the wall thickness, and for exterior edges, add a radius equal to the interior radius plus the wall thickness. This will ensure that the thickness of the walls is consistent everywhere, even at the corners. Now, let's summarize all six design tips. Add draft angles, avoid undercuts, attach bosses, ribs, or sidewalls, design walls that have equal thickness or add smooth transitions, hollow out thick sections and add ribs and round all edges. These design tips will help you avoid defects while also reducing the cost and lead times of injection molded parts.